find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh, check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Hey guys, welcome back. It's the Rambling Movie Minute. I'm Sorgatron, and this is the uh, our corner of the internet. A little wall coral doing what we're doing, you know, dancing with us. It's Dancing Mad Mike. Uh, Mike from uh, uh, the Bronx uh, is here. He's dancing because I don't know why. Godzilla scream. I can't do the impression of it. Otherwise, I'd do it. That's okay. Insert sound here. Uh, also yes. with us, Malengo at Rambling Mango on the Twitters, the the movie guy. Um, man, I really should have read your, your titles like way in front of your face, but that's okay. We'll work on that. We'll work on that. This one's better. There we go. Hi, Malengo. <laughs> we'll work on that a bit. Uh, but, of course, uh, we, we'll get right into it. Of course, uh, uh, Malengo, what happened at the movies this weekend? Something big. Something very yeah. big. The movies this weekend, we uh, we opened with Godzilla, which destroyed, literally stomped all over the box office. Mm-hmm destroyed everything they were predicting 100 million it only came in with roughly 93.2 million uh 70 73 percent on rotten tomato yeah uh we also had neighbors neighbors uh actually fell in percentage it still came in uh second with 25.1 million but surprisingly with neighbors falling uh amazing spider-man actually gained uh a, a little bit of money from last week so uh that was interesting and actually more people went to see spider-man <laughs> than uh than they did last week especially going up against godzilla so i thought that was interesting um yeah million dollar arm the other big one that opened this weekend only came in with about 10.5 the disney movie but yeah that was this weekend godzilla Meh. Well, they better get that big money out of the way before next week hits. That's right. We'll get into that yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Next week. The stories I'm hearing about X-Men. Yeah, Godzilla needs to get as much money as they can scrape <laughs> because it will just be slaughter. Days of future crap. Oh, no. In, in reference of X-Men will crap all over Godzilla. That's how okay. I, I was going to say, I thought, I thought you were implying the movie's going to be crap because it does not. <laughs> yeah, I, I quickly thought, like, that's not what I meant. Um, yeah. So, in movie news, uh, there was a trailer. I don't know if it came out today, but this is the first time I saw it. Um, you know, uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, the new uh, trailer release. And if you weren't already excited to see this movie, go watch this, go watch this trailer. Ooga, because ooga, ooga, I, chaka, I, ooga, I, ooga, ooga, I'm so excited for this movie. Yeah, this definitely shows. shows a, it shows a lot more uh, of of the movie, of the characters. You see uh, at least some talking. You hear an "I am Groot" from Vin Diesel. Uh, the, the Rocket Raccoon says something. Uh, it, it's. Uh, I think it's going to give you a little more of the flavor of what's going to going to happen here. You will believe in a world yeah, where a raccoon can talk. You yes. will believe a lot more character uh, development of, of who these characters are in the world that they are immersed in. Uh, I think it's I was looking at a list of the summer movies for this year, and like I think they're kind of all over the place. I think this one will be very epic in the sense of I'm more excited to see this than I'm one of those people that are more excited to see this than I was Godzilla. Mm-hmm. 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 I think this is going to be your surprise of the summer, really, um, uh, and and especially the summer where it looks like you know sh- movies like the Neighbors and uh, Jump Street are, are aiming for like the the comedy movies maybe being big. I think this is going to be a nice combination of that because it's it's, it's le- and, and not for nothing. There's a lot of sequels this summer, and this is not a sequel. That is true. Your first true. original, or not original, but first time non sequel thing, and I think uh, I think they'll do really well. It's the yeah, first it's also coming... non. It's the first Marvel non sequel since uh, Captain America. 
Wow. It's also coming at the end of the summer, too. So it's kind of like a nice wrap up before we start getting into the fall and winter. Yeah, I couldn't see this one really competing with with like a July 4th weekend kind of crowd, you know. But things are kind of like, eh, all right. uh, And I don't expect it to do gangbusters like an Iron Man or something like that. I really think we're going to see... I don't know, all right numbers for this one uh surprisingly high numbers for for it you know not having a uh uh, uh chris evans or something in it but um zork zork you're already doubting the powers of abs am i am i chris pratt's abs <laughs> i mean i say chris hey, pratt in that movie you know we already have zach efron's abs uh conquering spider-man last week so i guess i guess mm-hmm. so. you want to know why spider-man 2 didn't do as well hmm. Andrew Garfield didn't take his shirt off. He no. didn't take his shirt off. And near did Emma Stone, so that was two strikes against her. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right? So Exactly, Thorg, <laughs> and that will never get that again. Nope. Nope. There That's goes funny. like one fic fanfic. Yep. There you go. <laughs> never put two and two together. Nope. That's also clear. Um I was uh, somebody who hadn't seen the Flash trailer, <gasps> and I saw the long, epic one that was like six minutes long, where oh there's God. an appearance of Arrow in it, and they go more into the story that CW is looking to reveal. I am now sold on Flash. <laughs> the freaking weather wizard, Sorg. The is freaking that weather is? wizard, Malengo. See, I'm not terribly familiar with flash characters like i've read i've read flashpoint i know a little bit here and there i watched the original flash series back in the day um i am really excited for this especially since there's a little something they do at the beginning you're seeing if you're on video uh i know what that is mike probably knows what that is and i can't wait to see what they do with that in the series um but it they, they really fleshed out a lot of what this series is going to be. I think we mostly really just saw uh, clips from their first two hour premiere, whatever they're going to do with this. Um, this is more superhero y than Arrow started out as, I feel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For instance. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So uh, I, I think if you're like, well, uh, you know, uh, these series, like, they really subdue the capes in this one until it's like end of Arrow this season. Um, you didn't have crazy bad guys and and all this kind of stuff this is this is going to be full front like we're going to have guys with powers and and it's going to be just nuts right out of the gate um dude he already has the suit in the first episode yeah yeah like it took a very long time for ollie to get a domino mask and ditch the war paint but yeah flash already has like a friction proof suit in this thank god he has friends who are huge nerds and it's the star labs people that we were introduced to in arrow uh oh it's so great i this is going to be so good I really hope there's someone there working named stone i really 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 hope someone who works there is named stone i want cyborg on tv oh so bad. that could be fun mm-hmm. hey, hey, I and, want and, that so badly they could definitely start kind of pouring those those guys in. I was a little iffy on on this guy as the character, but now seeing him kind of in, in action, you know, I, I'm kind of digging it. So mm-hmm. awesome! And I love I love that. The only thing I'm upset with about Flash is that it's not going to be airing back to back with Arrow. Yes, that's the only part that I like. I don't know why CW isn't doing that. Yeah, that would be a huge dominance in in ratings. Especially if you're planning to have crossover episodes, which I'm sure they are. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that's I mean, that's the only caveat I have with it. Everything else about it looks amazing. Awesome. Yeah, like like I said, I I watched this trailer. I mean, hearing what you guys talked about, and I'd seen, I'd actually seen Flashpoint, so I was I was familiar with some of the shots that they were showing in this. Although the storyline in Flashpoint is somewhat different i think i was just i was i was just talking about how um after seeing after seeing flashpoint yeah like i i definitely understand a lot of the paradoxes but the one thing i wasn't sure with was the origin story i didn't think it was the same one as flashpoint i thought well, like Fla- they were flashpoint things. wasn't too much into the origin story but i mean and, and it's being reinvented a little bit because he got involved in something with with arrow so 
Uh, yeah. So it's a little bit different. I mean, but generally, the thing there's light. As long as there's lightning and maybe something with chemicals, and then he can run. That's yeah. Right. You know, the coma thing's new. That's fine. I think it makes sense. Uh, cool. I I can't wait to see what they do with it. So. Good. I I'm just think it's funny that we get all of these like um, these revamps mm-hmm. of heroes so close to each other now, where it's like we like Flashpoint came out not even a year ago. And now we have a TV series. But that's a different like, thing. That's a different thing. That's the cartoon universe and versus the TV wing. So, um, but I don't yeah. get why that's a different universe. Because Someone needs to explain that. Different, like different production. Why? Why? Why would you have the TV crossover with the cartoon universe? You can do different things. Oh, oh you, you're talking the. Car- I was talking. I was thought you guys were talking about the movie universe. Oh no 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 no. But because. Mm. God, what? Why Flash and Green Arrow aren't involved in this Justice League thing that's going to happen? Why? I'll never understand. I'll never freaking understand. That. Because you don't need to introduce them. Like, you can just have them show up and have Batman show up in Starling City like, excuse me, Mr. Queen, I need your help. And, you know, like, Boom! It's it's yeah. already set up. Mm-hmm. Like you don't need to cram eighteen thousand heroes into Batman versus Superman. You just need to cram Batman and Wonder Woman, and then you have two more, and that's your big six. Uh anyway. Anyways, <laughs> so what else we got, Malengo? Uh, we're gonna skip the one story on Magic Mike too because I don't think anyone because here. Because really why? <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, uh, I have that, to confess, you know, I had somebody I was at, at my one job yesterday and they came in and was like, oh, there's Magic Mike. And I'm like, I don't think you want to call me that. They're like, why? I was like, have you seen the movie? Or, or do you know what the movie <laughs> is? And I, I'm like, well, it's this. I'm like, oh, yeah, we won't call you that. Yeah. We, we Sorg, yeah, I yeah, accept yeah. when anyone calls me Magic Mike. <laughs> oh. I Anyways. tell them the story was based on me. They took a lot of creative licenses. You know, <laughs> it's fine. It's what Hollywood does, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, they you know, they fit the narrative, but you know, it's fine. Whatever. It's okay. I was actually the Kevin Nash in the story. Oh, I see. Yeah. Hollywood and they're taking liberties. Uh <laughs> Zach Brath. Uh he made he made a splash earlier this earlier this year or late last year with his Kickstarter uh fund for his next movie. Um and the trailer for it just got released. It scored uh, pretty high in Sundance. Um, and it looks like it's probably going to get picked up by uh, Focus Features. But I watched the trailer. Uh, some things that I, I thought I remember watching on the Kickstarter was this was the same character from Garden State that had just, like, I guess, later on in his life. Um I guess it could still be that character who's still like searching for his life or life. Uh, but I don't know. I think this is this is one of those movies that it's like hit or miss. Some people loved Garden State, some people hated it. I personally liked it and I like Zach uh Zach Braff. Um but I don't know, it's just it's weird. This is with the whole Aventation of Kickstarter, I think this is opening the doors to movies like this. I think that's cool. Not familiar with it. Uh, kind of cool that they got a movie going from from Kickstarter. So cool, you know. It, it's, I mean, you still have to be a, a Zach Braff apparently to do something like that. Um, but still, um, I I don't know. Wait, wait, what did it say? Something about Garden Street just popped up in the trailer. Um, like I think it's just from the people that brought you Garden State, so maybe they are yeah. kind of diverting a little bit. So, it's well, I mean, Zach color. Brath is the I one who wrote Garden State. Mm-hmm. What are you saying, Mike? I-, I was saying it's a weird trailer, but Garden State was a weird movie, so it doesn't really surprise yeah. me. That... Mm-hmm. It's kind of like that finding yourself again type movie. Um, but yeah, so moving along. Uh, we're not going to go to spoilers yet on Godzilla, mm-hmm. but we will go to a funny, uh, Jimmy Kimmel did a funny, uh, skit where 
it was lie lie news basically where he lie went and... Mike did you get a chance to watch this yeah yeah um <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel had a reporter go out and tell people Godzilla was real and people believed it and blamed on <laughs> global warming Side note, all the people in those in that skit should not be allowed to vote. <laughs> this is so true. Like, like not even for American Idol. Like they should just not uh, be allowed the privilege to vote for anything. I like I like the at the end, I don't know if you made it through at the end the last girl they uh they interview was actually on set in the uh, audience. So they give her they give her a mic and they're like so uh, you know, did you really believe us? And like Kimmy, uh, Jimmy Kimmel kind of pulls her chains. It's like you know, this was all real. And she's like, no, no, I I googled it, and that's how I found out it wasn't oh. real. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh man. And, and I these are, this is our future. I kind of wish Godzilla was real. And then we could take those people that thought Godzilla was real, put them in San Francisco, and just have them get the, have them get killed. Oh man, yeah. So <laughs> speaking of Godzilla, uh, we well, hold on, hold on. Before we get to Godzilla, because Sword okay. did not see Godzilla yet. Yeah, give me, give me the, the, the um, general. Well, no, I was, gonna, I was going to talk about what else Malenga watched this week. Oh, okay, go ahead. Oh, you want to go to that first? Where else? I uh, I went. You rewatched Daredevil. Yes, I rewatched Daredevil and I saw Son of Batman. I watched. I rewatched Daredevil and um. So what I the funny thing was like I didn't watch. I just went right to the uh, director's cut. So I just listened to what they said, and after listening to what they said and seeing some of the shots that they put in. I hate Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're basically. So wait, wait, yeah, wait. You watch it with commentary, or did you watch the movie? I watched it with commentary because I already oh, seen the movie. Oh, you have to watch the movie. Yeah, because it's a very, very different movie. Just well, in general. Yeah, no, like, yeah. I saw, I saw the shots that they were talking about, and I mean, I remember the movie, um, but yeah, what what frustrated me was like. It, it's, it's exactly what you guys were saying last week, and it's also like exactly what they said in the director's cut. Like, there's so much stuff that just gets hacked, and this the sad thing is, a revamp of this movie would make sense because it's been proven now that they can do what they would want to do, and people would probably go and see it. And mm-hmm. I, I feel like studios would say, "Oh yeah, it's fine. It's Daredevil." Like let's yes, let's so do if everything. So after to Batman do. Begins, what's that? Because this is basically there. If this is basically Daredevil Begins, like yeah, like uh, I mean, it, 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 the, the there's so movie. much there's sh- there's so much character development that leads into like why he is who he is, like where he like where his character is derived from. And it's just like it's so sad how much stuff they cut out. Like even at the end where Kinpin comes in and gets arrested, and they're like, they they talk about a line where it's like, yeah, we have to remove that line, and that's why nobody even knew that Kingpin was coming. Like they didn't know why he was being arrested in the movie. And they're just like, oh, the cops are showing mm-hmm. up. And it's just like that's sad. A movie before its time. But sadly, those are the movies that we had to have in order to get an Avengers or a Captain America. So, I don't know. It's sad. Basically, bottom line, if you haven't seen the Daredevil director's cut, find it. Find it, yeah. watch it, thank us later. Yes. And uh, to that to that note, though, I mean, I would still – and it kind of plays into the Godzilla stuff. But, I mean, I would still say, like, I think a lot of it has to do with the directing. I think the, the two directors and the writer for um, uh, Daredevil, I think 
they went in it with such good intentions and they they just their hands were handcuffed so i think I think that plays into a lot of future movies. I mean, I, I'm not, I know I'm indifferent to Iron Man 3, um, but like the same way some people will drive to saying that was a great movie, you know, I'm just indifferent. I kind of, it brings up the topics of uh, our revamps with Punisher. Like so, it, or, or even the Hulk, Edward Norton Hulk movie. I love the Edward Norton Hulk movie, and there are a ton of people out there that hate that one. Mm-hmm. So I thought that one was really good. I don't yeah. think Ed Norton is necessarily Bruce Banner, but I thought that was really good. I did too. I, I I was a big fan of that version, especially over the Ang Lee one. I was the first time I watched the Ang Lee one. I was like, "Why are we doing these shots?" You know, like they're they're just <laughs> like when they would split the screen three ways and stuff. It just it it drove me insane. Uh, them them trying to do that kind of stuff. It just did not. I'd rather work watch Halle Berry's Catwoman than Ang Lee's Hulk. Oh, I <laughs> don't, have not have not yet seen Catwoman. Oh, uh, mm. you don't need to see it. I didn't think. Don't. It, don't sometimes just, just, sometimes i find it like maybe in the listing on hbo like yeah maybe uh no no, no. probably not probably not. oh real you quick speaking of catwoman uh real quick i also saw the trailer mike um and sword i saw the trailer to gotham and and i actually think it's gonna be good nice i like I like the idea of, I mean, we we're joking about the whole, like, oh, now we're seeing all the young villains. But I like that, I like that perspective of this is for Batman. This is the city going deeper and darker than to why we need a Batman. I dig it. So, Not I'm unless interested. the police stop all of them, because then you don't need a Batman. <laughs> Unless, unless this ends with like the the villains killing all of the police officers, you don't need a Batman. I I, <laughs> well, I think I think there's I different see, levels of subtext you could put into this. I I think it I think it's gonna work. I uh, I, I hope I'm wrong. I I, I want. I want that show to work mm-hmm. for a season because it's Fox. Yes, for a season. <laughs> and I hope I'm wrong. I hope it's really good. I just well, don't I mean, think it's going to be. Think about it, it's You're already so... teasing the huge people in Batman's rogues gallery. It, that seems like they're doing an awful lot for one season. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Seems like they're doing well, an awful lot. I mean, look at Smallville. Think... Smallville, you got Lex Luthor, and that was basically it. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and it and it and it languished for so long too. So. Here's that. Well, I mean, I, I think just the fact that you can go down the rabbit hole with this is good. I mean, if you think about it, obviously the Gotham police in the the nineties Batman that we had, uh, with the Dark Knight, the cartoon, where like half the police force besides Gordon was like corrupt and you never knew who was like a good cop, bad cop. I I feel like that's something we can get to where it just gets so like and to revert back to Daredevil, where it's like you don't know which which cop is on the level and which one is just mm-hmm. corrupt. Which and one again, has again? I'm okay with corrupt. that stuff. I see. that stuff is going to be great. I'm very excited for that. I've I've seen Batman Year One. I know how good that stuff can be. But Penguin, Poison Ivy. Riddler, <laughs> but they're not them. Joker. They're not them. They're not like like I I think you're gonna see. Pe- it, it looks like I feel like you're gonna see Penguin as a lackey, right? Uh, you you know before they built up to being the Penguin, the pr- the reason you have these super villains in here because they're not so super yet. They're still. It's like it's like the the Muppet babies of Batman. All right, but. <laughs> Oh, and that sounds like a good concept. <laughs> hey, I love the Muppet Babies. Um, yeah, why not, right? All right. All right, Malenko, well, what else we got here? Is there anything else before we get to uh, uh, Godzilla? Uh, we could just we could say uh, the big movie coming out next week, obviously, or this weekend, 
is uh, X Men: Days of Future Past. Mm-hmm. Uh, people that have seen this movie already are are like they have hard ons for it. It seems like it is extremely good, and it's predicting to do better than its predecessor, um, which makes me extremely excited. So, go see X Men: Days of Future Past because that's what I will be seeing. Mm-hmm. What is wait? So I caught wind of something today, and I think I might have just found something about it. So is there, there's a Brian Singer controversy going on right now. Yeah. Is there? What, Tell me about what it. What happened, Mike? Do you know about this? Um, supposedly I forget exactly what happened, but um, supposedly he made some anti-gay slurs, I believe. Ah, uh, is that it? I'm, I'm not. I'm not positive. I know, I know. It was, it was something where. Okay, no. Uh, like, so I did find an article saying. Uh, did, uh, oh no! It was a sexual abuse. Sexual lawsuit. abuse. Uh, sex abuse allegations. Uh, won't he won't be promote out promoting X Men uh, amid scandal. Scandal. Uh, wow. Okay, because I just caught this kind of in passing on a mention on another podcast I was listening to today. Uh, so uh, that that's messed up. So, um, I don't think it'll affect the movie. To be honest, no. I didn't even know about no. it. I, I don't know if the general populace connects that guy with the X Men movies. The only person yeah. that connected oh. the X Men movies is Hugh Jackman. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Exactly. So. Oh, and by the way, um, I read an article saying he's reconsidering not retiring as Wolverine. <laughs> so we may get a lot more X Men movies. Why not? Why not? He's gonna and be he like. Said he, wa- he said he wants to be in the Avengers because he wants to fight Hulk. Because <laughs> uh. that works out so well for Wolverine. Sure. In all ver- all versions of it, it sure. works out. Uh, like that uh, works. Hugh Jackman, he's silly. He's a big kid. I, this is why I enjoy. He's he's just a big kid. This is I get to play a comic book character. I'm in heaven right now. You know, he gets to do a movie where he gets to fight robots, you know, or, or, or you know, do rock'em, sock'em robots, you know. I, I really, he gets to go play in a pro wrestling ring. Uh, uh, Technically, he does get to fight robots in this movie coming out, too. Oh, that's so. right. That's right. So, um, I <laughs> think. And then on his off weekend, he goes and does like this. He's just the giant Australian kid. <laughs> so, let's be honest. Who, who wouldn't want to. You know, those are your roles. Like, yeah, I'll be the Wolverine. Okay, sure. Yeah, oh, yeah I'm I'm six two and chiseled, but sure, Wolverine, four eight, built like a fire plug. Yeah, same guy. Uh, so and, you watched Veep? I I well, I'm like I'm like I didn't watch any movies, and I'm like, well, I watched I watched a lot of Veep, and I think I watched most of these, but it, it, uh, kind of rewatch because one thing I hate about HBO Go is you never know where you. Like, there's no history. So if I yeah. left the series for a while and come back, I'm like, well, where the hell did I, I leave off at? Um, so catching up with Veep, I'm at the beginning of season two. Again, I think I kind of watched these before, but I don't think I paid attention to them last time. So I am kind of getting a lot more of what's going on with it. I like the series. It's it's uh, uncomfortable. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of those like, uncomfortable comedy series, kind of like Girls was uh, a little bit. Uh, so, and it's got the one guy from Arrested Development in it, um, and, uh, uh you know, what's the case from Seinfeld, um, it's been a lot of fun. I also finished, this is a weird guilty pleasure, I know, but I finished the comeback with Lisa Kudrow. Oh, that show's kind of funny. Kind of, exactly, it's kind of funny. I, I've seen a couple episodes of it, it's... There are some episodes that are good and some episodes that are yeah yeah it's well it, there was I got that from a Kevin Smith podcast where he was talking with Lisa Kudrow about that show because apparently Kevin Smith is nuts about that show and at the time it wasn't on HBO or anything um, and I actually had to find it online somewhere and I got about halfway through it uh, and and then I fell off of you know watching it and, and and it popped up it was actually featured a couple weeks ago on the app so I'm like oh. yeah Kevin Smith also loved Man of Steel. <laughs> Well, I also like Man of Steel. I want to watch Man of Steel the other, you know, week because it was on HBO, and I'm like, why not? I own it, but whatever. So I'm a big fan of the Man of Steel movie. I, uh, oh, you should say it's before Chachi kills us. Um, yes. If if you haven't seen it, the Lego movie is available for digital purchase today. If you haven't seen it, you need to because it's it very, is, very, it is amazing. 
It is awesome. Yes. Awesome. Uh, real quick, uh, before we get into, I know, quite an interesting discussion. Uh, just real quick, uh, Son of Batman. Um, Mike, did you like it? I liked it. Um, it wasn't as good as some DC animated that I've seen, but it wasn't yeah. as bad as some that I've seen. So, you know, yeah, I, 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 I love Deathstroke, so I'm a big Deathstroke mark. So anything uh, like the fight with him and Damien was great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought for the the violence that they that they were warning about, I thought it was good for what it was. Um, also, Neighbors. Uh, Oh, Mike, Mike's moved on. Back Zach Efron's abs. <laughs> no, um, Were you mesmerized no, by the abs? Neighbors was a very funny movie. I enjoyed did Neighbors. Did you see it with your girlfriend? Way more. I enjoyed Neighbors way more than I did Godzilla. Yes. <laughs> wow. Way more. Like, infinitely more than I enjoyed Godzilla. Um, <laughs> Neighbors the a very fun comedy movie i uh, i have a feeling because i was looking what's coming out the rest of the summer i don't see anything that looks funnier coming out except for maybe guardians of the galaxy but i yeah. think that could have some long staying power in the theaters not yeah, quite frozen level but still long staying power yeah i mean at that point uh neighbors is definitely one that i've already wrote down as my dvd purchase and I consider that an archaic uh, old form of gathering media to sit on shelves. All right, let's uh, let's go into that that stopping place where monsters scream and tear down buildings. Malengo, I, I think you're moving and 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 rustling something that's sounding horrible. I think it's coming from you. Is that for me? That might be. Just 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 kind of hold still a little bit while you do this. So you guys are going into Godzilla. I'm just gonna walk away. So, well, do do you want like a non? Yeah, give me the non spoiler. Like, how is Godzilla as in? Should I go see it? <laughs> based on based on what I know about you, Sork, I think you will enjoy the movie more than I did. Okay. <laughs> you know what's I, funny? I had that in same that same exact thought. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is it like? Is there just like I like a kind of movie or? You're more... I don't know. I I kind of felt like Mike would would look at it and be an optimistic, or Sorg Sorg would look at it, and be optimistic, and say, "Well, that's what they had to work with, and you know, it's Godzilla." <laughs> exactly. exactly. Well, yeah, okay, and it looks very pretty. And let's put it, it this way: when very, I go to very a, pretty. if I if I'm going to Godzilla, I'm not I'm not putting my thinky hat on. Okay. Yeah. If see, I'm going to Captain that. America, on. I'm not putting my thinky hat on. I go those. I specifically will go to a theater to see the movies where things look pretty and blow up a lot and want to hear the sound. I go for the. Yeah, experience. you're gonna love it. This is why. I, <laughs> I, oh, okay. Uh, I mean, you're gonna love this, it. This is why I don't go see romantic movies in the theaters because I don't need a four foot screen in 4K with with. Um, uh, spatial surround sound. Okay, um, I'm just fine on my 42 inch with a uh, stereo speakers. Uh, you know that, that that's fine for me. Godzilla. Okay. Uh, I can see then, it in the big Sork. I, it makes sense. Then Sorg, oh, I'd make a recommendation. So okay. See, see it in 3D. See it in 3D. Yeah. Right? Well, if I see it myself, I'll see I it. I did in 3D. not. See it. I did not see it in 3D. Okay. But. Mm-hmm. I can see where 3D would enhance that movie as opposed to it not enhancing other movies. I'm also not sold on 3D. You know, I've gone to two movies, maybe? I can't remember what the second one was. But, uh, I mean, it just, I don't know, not interested. So, um, but, uh, so uh, I'll let, so so go see it. Stuff blows up well. Um... (laughs) Oh, and slight spoiler, there is no Puff Daddy song at the end of this Son movie. of a bitch! Very disappointing. <laughs> very disappointing! All right, so I'll I let you guys go. I was waiting for it. I was ready to dance and spin a circle. I was ready to do all of those things, and none of it. Come with me. <laughs> yes. All right, uh, so I'm going to let you guys go at it. I'm going to put up the spoiler ticker. So there. Oh, that's no, that's podcast day. There you go. 
There you go. Spoiler Podcast zone. Day. Have at it. End off the theater. I'm taking the headphones off and I'm walking away, you guys. Walk away. Just walk <laughs> away. You are entering another dimension. A dimension of sight and sound. A dimension where I have as much screen time with Godzilla as Brian Cranston. We're entering the spoiler I can't even right. do the screen. Can you do the Godzilla screen? Ah! Yeah. I was listening to a podcast I can where... It in my head, it doesn't sound good. <laughs> it didn't even sound like podcast. the same one in the movie. What's that? It didn't sound like the same Godzilla scream that I know Godzilla to scream like in the movie. Yeah, I don't think it. I don't think it was. Okay, but okay. It was more I like thought that was just. It, it, I don't know. I, I mean, all right. How about how about we just start with your review? What all did right. you think of this movie? Oh man, um, did you like the movie? I didn't not like the movie. However, I feel like it didn't – it wasn't what I was expecting because I expected a movie with Godzilla starring <laughs> Brian Cranston, not a movie with Godzilla with Brian Cranston providing the 20-minute long intro and then dying. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Like I, it seemed like you probably shouldn't kill off the guy who knows everything scientific about Godzilla in the first twenty yeah. minutes of the movie. Where may like if they kept his character alive, maybe it would have fixed a lot of the problems I have with the movie. Like none of it making sense, none of it <laughs> at all making sense. Like hey, we found out these guys eat radiation. I know. Let's not throw a smaller nuke at. Let's throw the biggest megaton nuclear warhead we have at them. Yeah, because holding. Hold, just, wait, like, I'm gonna poke a hole right there. I'm gonna poke a hole right there with the fact that not only do these do these gigantic monsters eat nuclear waste, they're being followed by a nuclear uh, ship that has yep. nukes on it. Yep. Yep, how it, this that, was how like down that, Periscope where there were diesel subs. They were nuclear ships. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I broke uh, a down I Periscope reference in a Godzilla stupid. review. You're welcome, world. Yeah, I mean nobody's gonna like our review because I I'm gonna okay, I'll I'm gonna be negative and then I'll try and spin it back positive, but it's gonna be hard. The people I saw it with were slit right down the middle. And I asked the people who liked it, like, why did you like it? And they're like, well, it reminded me of my childhood. And I'm like, I watched these movies as a child, and this did not <laughs> remind me of Godzilla as a child. And it was just, I there were so many holes. I The sad thing was, like, I actually went into the movie thinking, like, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to go into it with an open mind, like I. I'm hoping this is going to be like a Pacific Rim, like something epic. Like, I don't know, something exciting. And I was bored. I, I, was, uh, I was bored. All right, I, I, have one, I have one question for you. And I want uh, – this may be a little blue. Um, when, 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 when the not Mothra passed off the nuclear warhead to the female not Mothra, um mm -hmm. did it look like i all right i'm j I'm just gonna say this the way my girlfriend said it when we saw the movie uh was she jerking off the nuclear warhead <laughs> uh i don't I don't know if she was there's no delicate way to ask that there's no delicate way to ask if it was a nuclear vibrator there's no delicate way to ask that it's true because we just cut to a whole labyrinth of babies. And the nuke's just kind of sitting there. The rod yep. is pointing which, it down. Which also begs the question, why she even needed the male to procreate in the first place if she had all those eggs? That's true. I mean, maybe that, that connection was what – I don't know. Because the male's the one who brought the nuke. Yeah, you didn't even need that. Uh, 
stupid. Uh, anyway, like I will say a positive, a positive. There were some epic shots. Oh, yeah, all, it was it was a beautiful positive. looking movie. Yes. <laughs> very, very beautiful looking movie for about the 20 minutes you got of actual monster fighting. Yeah. And oh, and every God. oh oh wait, can I say one thing that really, really pissed me off? Every what time it, it all right, you saw Heroes, right? Yeah. It reminded me of Heroes. Because every time we were about to see Peter Petrelli and Siler fight, they would cut away. And Godzilla did that almost every single freaking time. Almost every, like even to the point where it showed something infinitely cooler happening on a TV screen. It panned out to show a little kids who had plastic dinosaurs on the table. Yeah, there was to that point. I agree. Like there were so many shots. Somebody had an argument that they ran like the budget was nice, but they ran out of money and there would be no way they could show a whole movie of Godzilla. And my argument to that would be, okay, if they knew they couldn't show a whole movie of Godzilla, they should have gave us characters that we cared about and not killed the only cool character in the first like 20 minutes. And I'm sorry if you're only going to have 20 minutes of Brian Cranston. Don't throw all that money at him just to put his name in the title credits. Like if you're going to have him be an expendable character in the first 20 minutes, have it be someone who looks sciencey, but isn't exactly famous. And then maybe cast someone a little bit more famous as the actual lead instead of kick-ass. Yeah. Cause I mean the kick-ass character, I, he didn't sell it for me. I, I did not care that he was trying to get back to San Francisco. The joke was, how does he keep living in all these situations? Why is oh he not God. dead? I was wondering that the whole time. <laughs> like, was he kick-ass in this movie where he doesn't take damage as readily as other people? Because that would make a little bit more sense. Kind of. Uh, yeah, I mean, quite frankly, like, I don't, I don't want it to be just like a downer. Because people like this movie for some reason. And people, I think people were satisfied with the 20 minutes of monster fighting that they got. Me personally, I was expecting half the movie to be Godzilla effing shit up. Yeah. And that's what I expected. And it was a lot of like moving from place to place. Yeah. Underwater where we couldn't see him except for a couple (laughs) of spikes. To Hawaii. To let's and, like, go through he water. literally ducked under a bridge. <laughs> what? Like the San like, Francisco I get, Bridge? I get, he's supposed to be benevolent. But still, you, you weren't benevolent when you were destroying all those skyscrapers when you were fighting the not Mothras. Like, <laughs> I, when we were watching the movie, I started shouting out Pokemon moves. <laughs> Like, Godzilla used Tail Whip. It's super effective. Godzilla used Hyper Beam. It has to recharge. Like, it was ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, The two things that really got me were I I basically, in the one comic strip I started drawing out, I related this to, well, two things. I related it to, one, a cat playing with a mouse that it just caught. The cat doesn't kill the mouse right away. It kind of plays around with it, you know, kind of just bats it around, and then it decides to kill it when it's bored. That's Godzilla for you people. Yeah. Okay. They say say in the movie that he was a predator. He's not a predator. He doesn't eat these things. The ending shot, which people were so caught up on, is if you want to see where they got the reference to that ending – just go watch Superman. It's superhuman beast uses a, I'm just going to grab you, yank your, your mouth, and, blow, and, you know, basically flame you, and that's it. And then I'm going to... Also, it had the same problem that Dark Knight Rises did, which I never thought I would say that about a Godzilla movie. The nuclear warhead explodes. <laughs> yeah. Nuclear fallout would happen. 
It was not that far away from the city. Oh, man. That's so true. That Oh, that point came up in a conversation I had where um, they, were, they were saying, well, why did the Japanese guy show him the watch? And they were relating it back to Hiroshima. Oh, oh. And I'm like, it doesn't relate because we it haven't does, done oh. it since then. And there was no Godzilla. <laughs> and it actually solved the problem then. <laughs> it caused a lot of death, of course, oh, but it geez. actually stopped the war. Like, his argument was that launching a nuke <laughs> wouldn't end anything when he showed evidence that launching a nuke can end a world war. Not in the greatest circumstance, I obviously, but still, <laughs> it makes the opposite point. Like, stop proving my point for me. Oh, However, I will yes. say Ken Watanabe... He was great. He was great. And when he did the, the like, classic cliche turn and just said, we call it Gojira. Like, <laughs> everyone in the theater laughed out loud. Uh, it was a uh, shared moment. It was Japanese just... needs to say something to, like, if anybody else had said the name, it wouldn't have made sense. It's like he had to say it. And also, I have a question. I have a question, and, and I haven't watched many Godzilla movies, so I don't know if why, why this happens. Ken Watanabe clearly says Gojira, okay? Yeah. When they're, when they're tracking him on the radar, it clearly says Gojira. Why does everyone start calling it Godzilla? Is it just racism? It might, it might have something to do with translation from Japanese translation to... Uh, I guess American translation, but I don't know. I the movie has so many holes in it, it kills me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh jeez. I, I thought Gojira just meant like monster, or I. If somebody knows, please know. tell us. I mean, even holes like even the fact that the whole like city was a nuclear cover up to contain these monsters. So even though um, our Breaking Bad hero goes to the city, takes off his mask, tells his son, oh, the air is fine, they get captured, and the people they get captured with all have masks on. But if they know that it's just a cover-up, then why? Uh, according to the rest of the world, uh, this movie is good, I, I guess. It's entertaining. My personal opinion, um, I say watch at your own risk. If I were rating this on my review scale, I would say wait for Redbox if you really want to see it. Um, that's me. I won't necessarily say wait till Redbox because I don't think it will translate well on Redbox. Um, if you can see it as a matinee, I recommend it. If yeah. you can see it as part of a drive-in, I highly recommend it because I imagine it would look really good. Um, uh, what if they also, if you just like neighbors. seeing shit blow up, like if that's your only reason for going to the movies, see it in theaters and see it in 3D because it looks like it would be way better in 3D than it would be in 2D. Yeah, it could be true. If you're going to see it, go see it big. Yeah. So, yes, I, like, and to its credit, not to be so Debbie Downer, the shots where they do show Godzilla are epic. The monsters are very well, well uh, shown. The scale of Godzilla and showing him as this epic thing, I think, were conveyed mm -hmm. where they could be. So, in that oh, yeah, sense... Like, visually, it looks amazing. Yes. If you just, it, honestly, if you watch the movie on mute, it would probably be better. <laughs> probably if you yeah. I mean but that's the argument it's like we come to see Godzilla shouldn't we just see Godzilla mm -hmm. and, there and you go. it's not that long either it's only about two hours maybe yeah. even a little bit under uh, the last thing I'll say before we head out uh, is um, I brought this up with, with the people I, I watched it with uh, Cloverfield still hands down way better that's my opinion. <sighs> oh, I'm, I'm not even going to comment on Cloverfield. <laughs> it, 
Ah, uh, no, I'm not going to comment on Cloverfield, <laughs> but, <laughs> um, yeah. Oh man! All right. With that, I guess this, that's a wrap. I don't know when Mike's gonna return, but uh, yeah. Where can we find you? Uh, or I don't know when Sorg's gonna return. Where can we find well, you, uh, well, Mad you Mike? My Mad if you Mike. Want to look for Sor- if you want to look for Sorgatron, you can follow him at Sorgatron on the Twitters. You can go to SorgatronMedia.com for all of the lovely podcasts that he has. Uh, you can follow me on Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitters. And I talk about random things. You can get into arguments with me about Godzilla. I humbly welcome it. <laughs> and Malenko, where can we where can we find you on the tweets? Uh, you can find me at Rambling Mango on Twitter. Uh, you can hit me up with all of the hatred that you have of me not liking Godzilla. Um, I will <laughs> I will respond with kindness and warring and blue <laughs> flames uh also you could hopefully hopefully this week i will have the godzilla uh comic strip up and you could check it out at the rambling mango.com so that's up that's, that's the show next go week see we X-Men. Have x-men go see x-men everyone go, go see, see x-men 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 all right guys x-men see ya we'll see you at the movies Okay, I just I just let Sorg know we're done. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I felt oh, bad man. because that's all going to be negative, but that's the well, problem. No, we, with... no, it's not all negative. I, I threw in some positives in there. Like it looks very pretty, which I mean, to be fair, <laughs> a Godzilla movie. If it yeah. doesn't look pretty, you're really doing it wrong. So. Yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. Of the summer movies, um, I that that's one that I was kind of like, okay, I wasted my yeah. money on this. I wasn't going to see it, and then some buddies of mine were like, "Hey, we're going to see Godzilla." I'm like, "All right, I guess." Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, that's that's kind of like oh yeah, Godzilla. Wait, and like the the time leading up to it, I was like, do I really want to see this? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, I'm gonna go shoot an intro for uh, this show. Already? I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go to a movie theater and see if I can get some popcorn and other movie related shots. So that should be fun. All right, man, Mike, I will see you next week. All right, see you, sir.